But what about transfers? Maybe one account to other account transfer. It will not be. It will not come under the ambit of info. Okay. The IT department will not get any. Inform me. Inform me. Inform me. Department get information, but it will not send notice to the taxpayer because of the transactions officially transfer from one bank to other bank account. Okay. Generally, they will not send notice unless there is some huge difference. For example, sir, if we have transferred account to our uh, someone account, yes, telling him that to deposit in your account, yes, because. Uh, I have reached ten lakhs. Yes. And in that there will be any problems, sir? Like wife or such childrens like that. The every penny, if if the any amount more than ten lakhs is deposited in cash. Okay. And they has to face problem. They have ah, to no, face sir. notice from the. The amount I have sent in two lakhs, sir. Yes. Example, I have reached ten lakhs in my account, and I have some some five lakhs in my account. I have to deposit in my wife's account. You can transfer the amount. If the IT department will ask why you have transferred so and so, then generally they will not ask. Okay. But if a small transaction, generally they will not. If the transaction is a crores of rupees, okay, okay. They will ask. But generally, savings accounts are only for savings. Okay. Means personal savings only. But it cannot be used for business transactions. Business transactions. Or lending uh, finance transactions. Current accounts are only for business transactions. Use if the if you want to do more transactions, use current accounts. Okay. And for business only. For savings. Very small number. Very small. Every day deposit, every day withdraw. Means it is not a, it is not okay. advisable also. Income tax department will take into consideration only the amounts deposited. Okay. Maybe cash deposited or amounts transferred to your account. That is, that will give a lot of information to income tax department. Okay. From whom you have received the amount, why you have received the amount, even transfer also why you have received the amount. What is okay. the purpose? And suppose a person is a relative, if you received money from the relative, means the father, or wife, husband, children. It is not taxable, okay. but if you receive the amount from the third person third who is person. not related to you and he has given money to you, it means it is treated as gift. You have to pay tax on the gift, gift received. Okay. It means just like there is no relation, you have received the amount that will be treated as gift, and the income tax department will ask tax on that amount received as a gift. Okay. So the unrelated amount received from unrelated persons to transfers. So all these transfers also may face some problem. Cash deposits also they have to face. Some problems. Okay. Balance in accounts. Okay. In every bank account balance also, the information will go to income tax department. Uh, that is also there is one. And uh, uh, we have seen so many people are dealing with uh, uh, Bitcoin or something. Oh yes. Sir. Transactions. All these transactions will go to income tax department. Uh, virtual digital, uh, digital, virtual digital assets. It's called VDA. All the transactions of these virtual digital assets, Bitcoin or some other thing. Any transaction will go to income tax department, and they have to explain how you have purchased it, how, how, you have sold, how much you have sold it, and whether it's permitted or not. This way to. And next one is winning on online games. People will play online games, uh, cards, you can say, any other games online also. Sometimes winnings through uh, playing online games also. All these information also will go to income tax department. You need not give, but when your phone number is attached to a bank account, the bank account will have. Your PAN number, Aadhaar number, and the bank will pass on the information to income tax department. Okay. So we did we did not give directly. Every information now at present, all the information of our persons, uh, every person is available with the income tax department. In nearly nine, nearly there are some forty crores PAN cards are there. Hundred. So without PAN card, we cannot open a bank account, or we cannot operate transactions without PAN card. And other card also, if the even if there is no PAN card, other card also is information to income tax department. Even the banks will follow the information based on the other card also to income tax department. So income tax department to collect information uh, based on the PAN number as well as other number. So everything is linked to other and PAN. It that is called jam. Jendan account. Even Jendan account, zero account balance also information will go to income tax department. Okay. Jendan account, Aadhaar, mobile. Mobile is connected to all PAN numbers, all Aadhaar numbers, all. So all this information will be available with income tax department. Okay. So be careful when you are doing transact more transactions in your accounts. Don't tell others so, to operate your account, and don't operate others' accounts also. Yeah. Because the person in whose name the account is operated will be held responsible. We have seen so many cases that doesn't know any transaction how it has happened, and uh, the, somebody will operate the account, and they will go away, 
and the person who is in whose name the account is operated maintained and he will be held responsible for income tax now we are seeing many notices for the year from 2014 onwards how many how many transactions the course of rupees transactions based on the income will be estimate income will be decided by the assessable income tax department we will send demand notice so better don't operate others accounts other bank others bank accounts don't allow you your account to be operated by others be genuine be correct with your transactions be careful government is watching digitally yes every time 20 24 by 7 means 360 degrees 24 by 7 the regulators are watching digitally you cannot escape from the clutches of the department if anything is wrong or anything excess is done if it beyond limit is no problem before the beyond the limit no problem beyond the limit means it will give wrong repercussions wrong demands and it is very difficult to get rid of the demand so be careful when you are going to operate your accounts if instead of depositing withdrawing depositing withdrawing you keep some time so you are comfortable amount with you don't deposit you maintain some balance with you and after surplus only you deposit yeah don't do more transactions in accounts and that will give suspicion to the department suppose uh, depositing withdrawing again transfer withdrawing all this will give suspicion to the income tax department and that will invite problems to the account holders and problem and how much amount which we can have in the balance sir there is no uh, there is no restriction the only thing is balance in accounts are reflected in the ar also but how much mane whether you have paid tax sufficient tax or not okay that is important tax paid or not suppose a person income is only 10 lakhs he is having bank balance of 1 crore oh. so department will ask how you have got this 90 lakhs oh. so this is the way the department will approach so be careful uh, if you want to if you want to maintain the accounts balance in the banks you assure that the you declare the income you pay the tax otherwise they will send the notice they'll pay they have to pay tax with interest and you have to pay penal proceedings all this will follow if the if you are not filed the returns properly for your transactions this is most important you have to follow especially in case of uh, purchase and sale of properties many people won't think that it is necessary to declare yes but the, after 4 years 5 years 3 years then come to report to send notice you are entered into this transaction do not disclose you are not this for profit or all, all these issues will come and that will give that will happen in such a way that suppose 100 rupees tax is liable on that day it will become 500 because of interest uh, and 115 bb provision is there and late uh, all this will come it will become fine so whatever uh, whatever you could have saved you lost with additional interest in pena interest uh, additional tax so better be prompt in pay, uh, if you are having a huge transactions uh, better file your returns to uh, uh, consult your consultants approach them to file returns pay taxes avoid penalties and interest this is my advice to the people who do more transactions with banks or any official transactions even every transaction official and unofficial every transaction is known to the department now